This is a reminder. This is for informational purposes only. Take this information to your healthcare provider and let your healthcare provider decide what is going to be the best course of action. Uh, also important to remind all of you that we are not making any medical recommendations. We are not suggesting that our products can be used to treat or cure any type of different health condition. Again, this information is for informational purposes only. Our patch products and our aromatherapy mists are general wellness products. All right, uh, that's a good segue then into how do we help someone with heart problems? Again, very serious medical condition here. Talk to your doctor. And uh, heart disease, of course, is the number one killer. And um, lots of reasons why people could have a heart problem. So let's get into this and, uh, and talk about it. Uh, you want to talk to your doctor about improving circulation in the short term and improving hormone profile. But, you know, what can we do long term? We know that drugs uh, are not going to be an answer long term as far as getting rid of the problem. And uh, surgeries definitely save people's lives, but you know, most people don't want to go through bypass surgery. So what can we do here? For, again, for the health of the heart, not for treating heart disease, for the health of the heart, I'd recommend uh, X39, X49, and carnosine. Now, one thing you could talk to your doctor about in terms of a patch protocol is using uh, carnosine to relax the heart. You can try applying uh, two or three patches around the heart. Uh, one simple protocol you can do with your doctor is to take your index finger and simply press around the heart. And when you find a point of pain, apply a patch there. And you might end up with two or three patches. Um, and then keep track of your blood pressure and uh, or if you're on an EKG and uh, and see how you do. You may find that that helps your heart relax. So what do we want to do here if someone has, uh, let's say, uh, hypertension, elevated blood pressure, heart disease, and this is associated with arterial blockage? Uh, cardiologists are not trained to be looking at some of these uh, natural solutions. One that goes back to the 1930s is buckwheat seed extract. Uh, there's only one company I know of that makes it its standard process, and the name of the product is called Cyruta, and it's been shown that this will uh, remove uh, arterial plaque and restore blood flow. So when we talk about elevating nit nitric oxide um, or taking a natural blood thinner, uh, taking aspirin, those are going to be things to do temporarily. What we really want to do is get the health of the arteries back. And you can do that with Cyruta. Another uh, product that's been through clinical studies is pomegranate extract. Uh, a company called Life Extension sells that. Uh, name of the product is called Endothelial Defense. Pomegranate extract, clinically proven to remove arterial plaque. So you'd want to do that over a period of six to nine months using those supplements. And of course, um, get an ultrasound, get diagnostics to see where the health of your arteries are at. So you know for sure. Vitamin D has been shown to improve the elasticity of the arteries. So you might have a vitamin D deficiency. So talk to your doctor about, you know, 5,000 IUs per day of uh, vitamin D. Niacin is uh, very common, uh, used for arterial health. You're going to need to talk to your doctor about that uh, because you can get into very, very high doses of niacin, which produce a niacin flush. Talk to your doctor. <clears throat> potassium. One way to naturally lower blood pressure is potassium. 1,000 milligrams per day. 
You could have too much sodium in your body and not enough potassium in your diet. So eating things like bananas and seeds and avocados might be, not be enough. You might need to take a thousand milligrams of potassium citrate per day. Critically important if you have high blood pressure. Beta alanine, of course, helps elevate carnosine, which supports the health of your heart. NAC will get um, elevate glutathione, which helps manage the inflammatory process. And again, nitric oxide, different methods of improving blood flow. Magnesium three and eight, uh, these three specifically, if you've got high blood pressure, please talk to your doctor about this combination. Let's say two to 400 milligrams daily of magnesium three and eight, 100 to 800 milligrams daily, 900 milligrams of uh, algae cal, and uh, three to five grams per day of taurine. These will calm the nervous system, uh, help with muscle contractions in the heart, and naturally reduce blood pressure. Did you know that clinical studies show that taurine is a natural antihypertensive, natural blood pressure medication, the amino acid taurine? So if you're suff suffering with blood, high blood pressure, please, and you're on medication or not, please talk to your doctor about this combination.